Hello all, my name is Justin. I'm from Prep 9 Contingent 30. And today I would like to share a part of my journey with you. In the silent corridors of the Horsa and Taft common room, I sung into the gray sofa, ready for another late night talk with Andrew, my ex roommate who has slowly transitioned to the brother I never had. This night in particular, Andrew asked me, why do you care so much about what others think of you? Usually I'm a quick-witted guy with fast responses, but Andrew's question had me perplexed. Why do I care so much about what others think of me? This unfortunately wasn't the first time I asked myself this question. When I look back on my life, I realized I spent so much time living in the preconceived notions others had for me. I'd like to give you a specific example, dance. For me, dance is as natural as the blood in my veins. I've been told on multiple occasions that I was probably born dancing out of the womb. However, there was a time when I refused to dance at all because of my peers. At my first ballet class when I was 14 years old, I could hear people commenting on how feminine I looked and how manly it was to dance ballet. What seemed like a minor incident was only the beginning of what felt like endless assaults of insults. I avoided going on the same bus as my peers or sped up in the hallways when I saw them to avoid the barrage of name calling. And while this provided a solution for the conflict with others, it didn't provide an answer for the internal war I was facing. Day after day, I felt as if I was living in a body other than my own. And then I finally asked myself, was it worth it? Running away from something I loved doing, from being my true self to satisfy others? Thankfully, my transition to boarding school helped me to become one with myself. There, I finally gave into my passion, and for the first time in a while, I regained a sense of control over my life. Now, why is finding myself so important to my journey? Why should it be important to your journey? I believe it's the foundation of success. Success has no universal definition. It's what you make of it. I believe being successful is an ongoing effort to define your identity and find what you truly love. And in order to do that, you must learn to follow your heart. But remember to take your brain with you. It's time for us to ask the question, who are we and what do we truly want in life? Some of you know what you're ready to love to do. And for those of you who don't know, it may take four minutes or four months or four years, but keep searching, keep exploring and find what gets you up in the morning and keeps you coming back for more. Once you've found that passion, that drive, that fire in your soul, never let anyone, even yourself, extinguish that flame. I urge you to become one with yourself. Once you win the battle against yourself, you'll find that all the other battles in life become easier to overcome. <laughs> While I preach to you the art of self-reliance, I don't want you to think that you don't need anyone in life. Whether they're good or bad, the people we meet we surround ourselves with help us to form our own identities. So I'd like to give a special thank you to Ms. DeMeo and Mr. Cifantes for pushing me out of my comfort zone and encouraging me to apply to Prep 9. When everything was new and overwhelming at boarding school, my TAPT advisors, Ms. Garcia and Mr. Bernier looked out for me and were my parents away from home. When I was out of touch with myself and needed a shoulder to lean on, I found my brother, Andrew, thank you. And to all my prep friends, Herman, Lauren, Kayla, Kimmy, Raina, Tiana, thank you. And a special, special, special thank you to Cynthia. Without her, I probably even wouldn't be giving this speech right now. And I'd also like to give another special thank you to my prep nine teacher, Conrad Fernandez, for being the light in my darkest hour. Even when I struggled and didn't think I could do better, he was there to tell me anything was possible as long as I believed in myself. And finally, a big special thank you to my mom. There are no words to express my eternal gratitude. You are my everything. And I'm glad you will continue to be a part of my life as I continue ballet and dance at Cornell in the fall. Thank you.